hello students now time for our science class uh, today we will uh, learn uh, chapter 11 simple machines actually um, you know when we uh, cut a fruit tied your shoelaces open the bottle uh, or when we slide down or uh, seesaw uh, in the park just think what makes all these actions possible these all are machines machines makes our work easier we can do large work by applying less force using the machines it is easy to make a list of all the works that we cannot do by ourselves isn't it yes we cannot shift a huge rock or pull down a tree we cannot walk all the way to another city or climb all the stairs of a skyscraper at times even work that needs only a little force cannot be done by us because we are very tired or unwell or maybe uh, old that is age factor whenever human being found work difficult they thought of simple ways to do it one of the ways they thought of was to invent simple machines. In science, the word machine is used for any device that helps us to do work. Not simply those that run on fuel or electricity. So, we will use machines to make our work easier and faster a machine is a simple device that makes our work easier by reducing the amount of force that is effort needed to do the work machines can be simple or complex a simple machine has few parts and is designed to overcome a single force with a single applied force we use many simple machines at home to save our time and we usually use many simple ma machines actually uh, and a complex machine has many complex parts and employs two or more simple machines to overcome the force so let us learn firstly about the simple machines Actually, you know, uh, there are six types of simple machines. They are lever, pulley, inclined plane, screw, wheel and axle and wedge. Firstly, we, we are going to learn about lever. Uh, you know, how you feel? If you return tired at home and hungry and had to open the door by lifting or knocking it down, the problem is solved by fixing the door on hinges. The entire door is a simple machine called the lever. Actually, lever is a rod which can move freely around a fixed point. It is the most important and the simplest form of machines. A lever is a simple machine that turns around a fixed point. So, there are three parts of a lever. And uh, you know, with the help of a lever, we can lift a heavy load by applying a little force. Levers are used in our everyday life and are all around us. The most common form of lever is a long machine that is put under an object to lift it. Other examples of levers are uh, scissors, hammers, bottle openers, etc. Actually, you know, a lever consists of three parts. Firstly, it is effort. Effort, what is effort? The force that is applied on the rod is called the effort. You can see the picture. L next is load. 
the object that you try to lift or move is called the load. And next, fulcrum. Third part is fulcrum. The fixed point on the lever around which the rod moves is called the fulcrum. So, there are three parts, effort, load and fulcrum. Now, I am telling you about the types of levers. Uh, firstly, I'm, there are three types of levers I am telling you before. First class lever, second class lever and third class lever. Firstly, first class lever. When the fulcrum is between the load and effort, it is first class lever. You can see the picture here. Examples are scissors, claw hammer, pliers, seesaw, etc. Next is second class lever. When the load is between the fulcrum and the effort, it is called a second class lever. Examples are wheelbarrow, bottle opener, nutcracker, etc. And the final is third, it's a third class lever. It is when the effort is between the fulcrum and the load, it is a third class lever. Examples are ice tongs, uh, fishing rod, nail clippers, etc. The closer the fulcrum and the load, the lesser is the effort. Always remember, the closer the fulcrum and the load, the lesser is the effort. That is why a tall, narrow door swings open more quickly than a wide garden get. Isn't it? I think you all uh, notice this, that a tall, no, narrow door swings open more quickly than a wide garden gate because the, the uh, cause is the closer the fulcrum and the load, the lesser is the effort. Uh, here you can see the pictures, first class lever, second class lever and third class lever. So next, now next is I'll tell you about the other simple mach machines, pulley, incline pen, screw, wheel and axle, wages, etc. Uh, and that's all for our today's class and till our next class. Bye.